What you guys got another video here for you on how to recover your lost files on Windows 10 for free. Now when it comes to recovering data for free there wasn't many good options available. Now Microsoft have come to the rescue with their free piece of software which they've just released which you can use to recover data for free. So here we have a USB flash drive which has been formatted. I have no clue what is on this drive and what I'm going to do is use Microsoft's newly released Windows file recovery tool to see whether it can recover any data. So go to the Windows uh, store and download Windows file recovery tool. It's free to download and free to install. It's from Microsoft so you've got nothing to worry about there and we're going to go ahead and install this and get it for free. As you can see here now you will need to be running the very latest version of Windows 10 that's Windows 10 2004 that is the very latest released if you are using older versions then this software will not work it only works with the very latest versions of Windows 10 you can find out what version you're running by typing Winver inside the search box and that will tell you what version you're running it has to say Windows 10 2004 so once you've launched the software, you'll see it is command line based. There is no GUI interface here. So this is a basic usage here. You can see WinFR, it gives you the source and the destination folder and a bunch of switches. So let's see how it works. We type WinFR, all one word, and then space, and then we have to choose the source drive. In this case, mine is my E drive, which is my USB flash drive. I would then choose my C drive as my destination drive to recover my files to. I need to do then space forward slash and then I can put in any of these switches. I'm going to use X for this one. This is the signature mode recovery using file headers. You can use any other switch. I'll show you some other methods after this one here. So let me just go ahead and show you how this works. It will create a folder in my C root directory called recovery and it will then recover those files. So do forward slash X and this will then use that command there. You can see it's asking me to continue and I need to put Y to continue. You can see the filter is all files and extension filter and you've got the folder which it's going to create here and all I need to do here is type Y for yes and it will then go and scan that drive and attempt to recover files. Now this does take a bit of time you can see the drive is listed there I'm going to go into my C drive and you can see it's already created the folder we have no reason to give it a folder name because it's going to do that for us right here so all we need to do here is just show you that's what it's done. It's scanning my source drive, which is my E drive. It's created a destination folder called recovery underscore with a bunch of uh, numbers. And that is the folder where all my data is going to be put into. There's nothing there yet because it hasn't finished scanning. It's only got 0.2% at the moment. It does take a bit of time like any other type of software that is scanning for files on your drive to recover. And once that is complete, it will then put them into that folder. Now it will try to detect a bunch of different types of files like JPEGs and also PNG files and a bunch of other files. I'll show you those at the end of the video so you can see what types of files it can recover. Once the scan has reached 100% it will start to recover those files. You can see it's recovering a bunch of files into that folder. I'm just going to let that continue here. So that's now finished. It will open up the folder and you can see it's put them all in some sort of order. JPEG, MP3, MP4, PNG and a bunch of other ones. And you can see it has started to recover files. It's found a load of music files on there which I had stored on that USB flash drive some time ago. So it has recovered those with no problem whatsoever. Again, it's recovered movie files as well and a bunch of other stuff. And these are all playable. I have played them. I'm not going to play them on here for copyright reasons, just in case. And uh, basically, it has recovered those PNG files. It's recovered those as well. And also, it gives you a recovery log, as you can see here. Gives you a nice list of files, what it's recovered. Unfortunately, they're not all named. They are just numbers, and that's pretty common. 
but as you can see it's done a pretty good job at recovering all of those files from that USB flash drive. So let's go ahead and open up the program once more and I want to show you exactly what else you can do with this uh, piece of software. Now remember this is free and it's from Microsoft and I think it done an outstanding job at recovering data from a USB flash drive that has been overwritten so many times and it recovered all of that data no problem at all. So it's done a very good job indeed and especially for a free piece of software that has no limitations so pretty decent. So let's go ahead and type in here another command. So we're going to do WINFR space E colon for the USB flash drive and then the C colon for the root directory where I want to store those files. Now forward slash N and this is using the filter search. So you can now filter search and select uh, a certain type of file. So for instance, if you want to do uh, docsx, uh, type of document files you can just search for those files on their own and it will only search for those types of files. You can also do a search for multiple files so if you want to do certain multiple file types you can do that too so you can do um, say for instance forward slash n and then say do jpeg or png something like that and then let's do another one so space forward slash n and then star dot JPEG, let's do that one. So we're going to be searching just for these three file types. If I did enter now, it will just search for those file types and nothing else and basically try to recover that particular type of file type, which is very useful indeed. You can also uh, change up your search as well. So that is the command you would have to put in for there. You can do searches for MP3 files or mp4 files or whatever it is you want to search for there's loads of different types of files you can search for or you can just do a search for just every type of file it's entirely up to you you can also put another switch in front of that forward slash n which is forward slash r and this will give you a segment mode for ntfs only recovery using file record segments you can do that as well if you wanted to there's quite a few uh, switches you can put in front of these and change it up to how you like. So let's go ahead and do uh, the hash mark here, forward slash hash, and this will tell us the file types that you can actually recover. So you can see here is a big long list of file extensions that it will recover. And you've got all your usual types of files you would have on a normal system, so you would be able to recover all of those. So pretty useful stuff there. So if you're trying to recover a particular type of file and it's not listed there, then you might not be able to do it with this particular type of software. Now, Microsoft have also got a, a page where you can go and visit and it will give you all the information about this piece of software. It gives you all the switches you can use, some advanced, some basic stuff, and it just depends on how deep you want to dig into this software. But it is a very powerful piece of software and it done a very good job at recovering files. I must say it's done a better job at recovering files than some other software that's been out for a long time that doesn't hardly find any files. So this done a very good job at recovering that particular type of data. So if you're looking to recover lost data or you formatted your drive or you've got data on a particular type of drive that you want to try and recover, then give this a go. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.